We have the unthinkable cue the fire. Also, uh, McFly, Puffy, Jack, Jack time. When it starts getting this bad, you gotta go back to the 80s. Which the 80s was the good old times, right? It was, uh, this is your brain on drugs. Uh, 2023. You can't afford the eggs. The gas stove. Uh, what's up with the gas stove? It's being outlawed. Actually, everything's being outlawed. If you're in California, you can't use anything. And the only thing you can get is drugs. And actually in this video, we're going back to 1929, uh, Mama Kathy. She's saying this is like Great Depression, 1929. And because we're running out of cash, the treasury, everything's not good. Default, this, this, should, be, this should be a good one or a clown show or a good clown show with, uh, hey, the head, the head leader there, Nancy. What are we doing, Nancy? Nancy's uh, dumping all of her stocks. Thank you, Paul, for sending me this. It's also called buy low, sell high. And for those of you that are so excited, but what about Bitcoin that I've been telling you about forever? See that line right there? I said, you break that line. That's your price target. We're actually, uh, as Biden would say, we are, we're about one inch from hitting price target, but do not be fooled. I will show you. Also, we have a death cross on the dollar, what? Which usually signifies Bitcoin go higher. Yep, death cross on the dollar. One minute I'm like, yeah, dollar, you guys all hate me. And then I'm like, no, run away. That's just how money is. You always, always got to be moving. And I wonder if Pelosi knows something that we don't. I want that kind of insider trade. And that would actually be very helpful. If you could, Nancy, get, get here. Just, I got the red line. So hit, hit me up. Doomsday clock, likely. Woo! Before Congress hikes debt limit. They're not they're not gonna hike it. It's the Republicans. These are the good guys. They are gonna save us. We're not gonna be in a debt-based system anymore. That's it. This is it. Default. Everyone's gold price goes up. Congratulations. You heard it here first. US Treasury expected to run out of cash digits just just create bonds it's okay run out of cash uh sometime sometime this summer dump 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 we have scenarios discussed to avoid a catastrophic default this is what they're saying you guys i know you're like oh these thumbnails no this is go yell at bloomberg catastrophic default so yes in the game of theater <laughs> this is what you guys want it's all it is it's just theater Politicians be politicians. How many times have they risen the debt uh, ceiling? Yeah, here, let me ask Jimmy. Jimmy, what time is it? Hey, yeah, it's time to it's time to raise the debt ceiling. So I don't. My watch always bangs on the desk, so I have to take it off. I mean, Jim Cramer is useful for things on this channel, like he tells you when to buy or sell. What are we doing? See, see, and any he hold. He's a good watch holder. So you just. You stay there and be useful, Jimmy. And just in case you want to see how close we are to hitting that debt limit, there you go. We're right, we're right there. Yellen's kind of freaking out, but the, actually, the Fed, everyone's kind of like insolvent right now. So I don't know. I mean, maybe you should listen to Mama Kathy, right? Just stop, it's Jerome. It's time to pivot. The setup will be more like 1929. Kathy Woods had always. I always say Kathy Woods, sorry. She's oh, morning wood. That's it. It's all you're getting. One of them has warned of another great depression. No, say it isn't so. It's actually really bad. I mean, you got inverted yield curves going back to the great depression. If the Fed doesn't pivot, yeah, they seem to be uh, not wanting to pivot there, Mama Kathy. Here are three investment sectors for safe haven. Well, if you Subscribe to this channel, I'll show you. Because I don't know about the investment sectors, because people just want to be investors. Where do you want me to buy? Okay, All right? Well, you're gonna have to sell. Well, I don't want to sell, but you got it. Money's always moving. But I say, let's see, what are you saying? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Banks, invest in banks? Essentials, okay, buy those eggs now. They're going up. R residential and commercial real estate? Wouldn't touch it with your 10 foot pull. You're welcome. Uh, uh, you know what I'd say? I don't even see it. I don't see anything. I, hey, you like you like uh, getting a five percent in the bond market? And sorry, I rounded up a little bit. Four point five percent, three month. What are you doing there, Chuck? But she's saying banks are giants and also well capitalized right now. Okay, and I could probably do a whole bank video today, but I won't. I'll just show you the article. Goldman lost one point two billion 
in nine months. I think that's kind of a lot of money to lose, which is actually pretty close to how much she lost. Kathy Woods. I uh, see. They threw in the S. Plural. ETF lost investors more than $1 billion. Hey, let's just take advice from hedge funds. I say, you know what? If you lose money, it's your fault. You should be investing your money. You shouldn't be giving it to someone who's lazy AF that's probably in the Bahamas right now being like, you should buy more shares of this. No, no, no. Sorry, Bob. You got to wake up. Not every morning, maybe once a week. You know, you trade on the monthly, something like that. You got to move money. So when something happens, maybe or you subscribe to my channel and you're like, Bravos did say it's a, uh, a golden cross. I should buy gold or a death cross. I should probably sell my gold or a golden cross. I should probably buy Bitcoin. And for those of you that are FOMOing in on Bitcoin right now, I come bearing a gift. Okay, let me just walk the shoe. Then I'll do a uh, shoe. I'll walk the shoe. And then I'm going to throw in some gold on you, some dollar. Okay, so just hold on. I'll, I'll just get to it. Rewind the tape. Did I not say? Okay, I said, you break that line right there. That, that's, that's the line. Guess what's going to happen? You're going to hit that yellow price target. I didn't know when it was going to happen, but it did. And then everyone, yay, Bitcoin to moon. All right, S set, set that aside. Here is some problems. Problem number one. Now, sure, if you find, you know what, you find support, okay, up there, volume comes in, uh, we're not in a recession, you know, what, you, you name it, eh, that's kind of macro, but okay, I shouldn't have said that. Look at, look at your volume. This is the volume right here, okay, all right? It's about, you know, if you were to double that, you didn't see that, that candle really move too much, did you? It's about, uh, yeah, as Biden would say, about one inch. Look at that, woo, because there's there's nothing on the exchanges. All right, so let me move this into the, uh, I'm, I'm doing this on the on the daily now. I like trading on the daily, I just, I gave you a weekly. All right, so boom, almost hit price target. If you wanna take profit, you can. Also, uh, we got right here, you got your RSI. You are so overbought, you can go back forever and ever and, and, and ever, you've never seen this kind of movement. And usually after you see it, you're not going to like the after effects. So if you're like going all, you know, all cash, you should have went all cash uh, at that little red line. Also take advantage of my bear market or my swing trade. You know, I offer swing trades in a bull market and in a bear market, 70% off for uh, dry January because you're, you're not drinking. So what, what can you do? Make, make some more money. Now, financial advice, I just show you charts and, and give you probabilities. Let me turn on uh, on one more thing for you. Let's do a little Lux Algo. I'll do two for you. I'll give you a twofer. Uh, the one's gonna tell you we're in this uh, we're in this falling wedge right there, or triangle, all right, close enough. It's a falling wedge. Sorry, sorry Lux, you, you tried. I'm gonna get rid of that, uh, that volume because I don't want it on everything. And I wanna show you, when you get into this, I've, I've never even seen this. Have you uh, Have you ever seen this on the corn? Get in that area? Here, let's let's take a look. Do, 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 do. So you know, just just so you know. Oh, oh how, how close? Yeah, not, not really close. This was, I mean, this was back in the, okay. Yeah, this is kind of where you're at. How much was Bitcoin back then? Yeah, it was uh, about $70,000, 69. They trolled us. $69,000. You're in that zone. So if you feel like, you know what? This is it. This is the time to to pour all your cash into the corn. Well, you you do you, my friend. I mean, I did tell you to pour some cash back there. I said at that line. I did, okay? Then you take profit. Guys, I have no dog in this fight. I have no dog in any of the fights. I just I present for you the charts and the charts will predict future. And I've been If you followed me long enough, you're like, "Damn, he is so accurate." It's not me. It's just it's the charts. Also, uh, if you're looking at uh, what I was saying, 4.7 on the one year yield. You want to lock up your money a little bit longer. You may want to do that one. But uh, we're, we're doing, uh, what, what are we doing? The, the dollar? Dump, dump, dump. More lines. And you remember when I was so dollar strong and everyone's like, I hate the dollar. Why, why do you like this? Unsubscribe. Um, because you make money going up. <laughs> and then I said, Okay, you cross that little blue line. It could be a time to accumulate, but be careful because when you cross it, it's going to drop. See, this is you trying to catch falling knives. Like some of you with, uh, what was it? Uh, gas, right? What kind of gas is it? Uh, <laughs> you don't want to catch that. It was UNG. 
Get to that in a second, unless I forget. So you cross that line up there, okay? Actually, there's a price target way down there, and we're actually we're probably going to hit it from that broadening wedge. Rewind the tape. Was that five months ago? Six months ago? Yo, but one minute we're going cash, and now we're like, okay, we're moving it. Remember, dollar uh, dollar goes down, Bitcoin goes up. Yeah, you're noticing this, but okay, are, are, are you super solid right now? Also, dollar goes, uh, dollar goes up, a lot of indices go down, dollar goes up. Uh, gold goes down, gold goes up, dollar goes down. Ha! A correlation, kind of, but just follow the charts that are in front of your face. Don't play the macro game. You can, you're gonna get hurt. Okay, so looking at this, this was the next. This was your next line of support, and I said if you break that one, well, more hell to the downside. Also, if you go back here, you see when it, uh, we go into that zone. I'm like, yeah, you guys can, you guys can buy some dollar in there. You're in that wow, this is really cheap zone. Get the bounce and then get out. And that's what happened. Woo, bounce, get out. I don't know if I, uh, if I turn on my uh, Bravo 9. Let's see. Where's that? Yeah, yeah, no, nope, 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 nope. And here, I'll turn it on for you for, for Nat Gas. See, see, okay. Nat Gas, you're under, the, you're under the 200. We fall, we're like, oh, we're all gonna die, right? And I'm like, wow, this is a really good zone. This is gas at the cheap if you're an investor. If you're a trader and you take my swing trading course, that's where you start. It's this easy. See the red line? Okay. You don't enter until you get one full candle close above that. And I said, we're going to have a rebound, but just not yet. So if you want to, you know, if you're an investor and you want to just keep catching falling knives, you do you. Also, this is not breaking news, but you need to listen to me. If I ever do a sponsored video, do not trade the stock. I mean, because they're going to tell, they're, I'm reading off. Wow, this is a great company. Don't trade the stock unless you understand the charts. Trade the charts, not the farts that come out of my mouth. Get it? I mean, even when gold comes on, yes, but still you got to look at the charts. Killing me, Smalls. Looking at this. Take my swing trading course. 70% 70, 70 off right here. Just wait. Just wait. One, one candle. That's it. Also, think about it. All the investors that like, oh, you got to go long and gas, blah, blah, blah. Wait until it's winter. Well, it's winter. Uh, you're, you're, you're cur right. I'm going to macro this. I'm going to front run it. Everyone's going to need gas in winter. Well, you got it. How's it doing? Down 66%. You thought you would be smart in July to go, no, oh man, this is... We're gonna make some cheddar on this one. Also, I can't cover how I trade everything on every single stonk. Uh, okay, because there's some things you just need to know. Just take the fracking courses so you understand. You have to wait, because I saw in the comment section, oh my gosh, I'm getting my butt handed to me on that gas. Well, do you see confirmation there, uh, Scott? No, I don't. Brian, Brad, Larry, no. Wait, MACD, cross, one candle close. Above the nine. Also, you're under the 200-day moving average. So your your bounce isn't going to be that, you know, huge. Also, when you guys see stories like this, U.S. dollar suffers first death cross since 2020 as rally unravels. Just know that death crosses and golden crosses are more of a confirmation. They're just confirming where we're going, which on that uh, MACD, it's showing we're going lower. See how they cross? You got a, you got a death cross in that one. So looking at here, I'll, I'll show you, turn it on. You go to indicators. I, I might have it, but I don't know. Hold on. Uh, do, do, do. Let me see if I have it. Nope, I don't. Oh, cross cabin. That's what it's called, cross cabin. It's also uh, part of my, my setup on my Bravo 9 indicator that's in the course. I, it's a 50. So when these two cross, that is a confirmation of a death cross. That is when you see that white line, which is the 200 day moving average and the 50, but you gotta be on the daily cross, but it's just confirming. It's just telling you what, you know, what's going on. It's not like, oh my gosh, shocker, dollars going down or shocker, it's gonna go down some more high probabilities, yes. Also high probabilities on your S&P 500 hitting all the lines. Now, should you put in a short right now? I think you should wait for confirmation. And also congratulations to all of you that have never done my course and you're able to like piece together. I, I gotta, gotta hand it to you, right? You're like, wait, how did you find that indicator, that nine thing that goes off to the moon? And I know, I know, I get it. Also, one other argument that people have, they're like, if it 
why don't you just give it away for free? Bravo. Because I think it's kind of a prerequisite if you want to be in the, the doom and gloom sandbox with us and, and make money on the way up or on the, on the way down. You kind of have to know the user manual. So I'm sorry, but if I did it for free, it would be worth free. Also known as no value. And even if I were to give a course, like a friend, friends and family member, which is a rarity that I do because I always know what the outcomes are. They don't even look at it. Actually, I think even if they were to give away de college degrees at UCLA for free, people are like, oh, that's that's not worth anything. And, and uh, also Michael Burry had a tweet about going to UCLA, not having friends, something like that. I tried UCLA. I eh, took some classes there, didn't learn much. And I think if it, was, if it was free, see, the value is just like, eh, it's not worth it. Actually, this tweet looks like a, like a pickup commercial. You know, are you lonely in college? Do you not have any friends? <laughs> I'll be a friend. We can hang out here every day on, on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and I will see you tomorrow, friend.